hello everyone let's solve this problem very quickly and you're welcome to feel cool mathematics where we solve problems into detail one step at a time so hold on this is um, very simple but it's a first step you must take and that is to rearrange this because we wouldn't want negative number to begin an equation right so I'm going to begin with 8x, 8 to the power of x rather than minus 2 to the power of x. And this is equal to square root of 2. I have not changed anything in the equation there. So the next thing is what? Breaking 8 into index form. So we have 2 to the power of 3. This is to the power of x. Then I have minus 2 to the power of x equal to square root of 2. Now, the next thing on my mind is trying to get 2 to the power of x in two places. And I can get 2 to the power of x from here because if you have a to the power of m to the power of n, it is the same thing as a to the power of n, okay, to the power of n to the power of m. Meaning that the one that comes does not really matter. So because of this, I will have to, you know, deal with this. And from here now, we have 2 to the power of x, right? Then to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of x. And this is equal to square root of 2. Now I have 2 to the power of um, x in two places so we can replace that right away i want to use k for 2 to the power of x so let k be equal to 2 to the power of x and this means here i'm having k to the power of 3 minus k equal to square root of 2 now i want to turn this around so i have um, square root of 2 equal to k to the power of 3 minus k. Now, the next thing on our mind is trying to remove the square roots from here. Remember, we square in order to remove square root. And what you do on one side, you do it on the other side. So now, we have to expand because this will cancel this and we have 2 alone, which will be equal to k to the power of 3 minus k and this will be in two places k to the power of 3 minus k now let's multiply right so if we're going to multiply 2 will be equal to k to the power of 3 times k to the power of 3 will give us k to the power of 6 because normally if you're multiplying you add the powers especially if the bases are the same and then from there, k to the power of 3 times k will give us k to the power of 4. Then minus k multiplied by k to the power of 3 will get another k to the power of um, 4, which will be equal to k times k. Although negative, negative will give positive. Sorry, this is positive. Then k times k is k squared. Now, let me take a step from here so that 2 will be equal to k to the power of 6 um, minus k. It's actually minus 2k because we have minus k to the power of 4 minus k to the power of 4. That will give minus 2k to the power of um, 4. Then plus k squared. Now, there's a way we can arrange this again. Now, if I want to arrange it in another way, then I have k to the power of 6 minus 2k to the power of 4 plus k to the power of 2 minus 2 equals 0. So everything on one side. But then, what do I do from here? Um, what we're going to do is this. We can just factorize it the way it is. And see if it's going to make sense, right? Now, I want to pick k to the power of 4 from here. Because I have k to the power of 4 here. And it's also found here. 
k to the power of 4, if it comes out, then here I'll have k to the power of 2. Minus k to the power of 4 has come out, so 2 will be left over there, right? Then plus here, there's nothing common, so I'll pick the coefficient, which is 1. Then into bracket, I have k to the power of 2 minus 2, and this is equal to 0. If you're done factorizing, you will know whether you're right or wrong, okay? And you can only know that if you have the same thing in the bracket. Now we are correct because we have k to the power of um, k squared minus 2 in two places. We are okay. Now let's factorize. For us to factorize, we'll have k to the power of 2 minus 2. Since we have this in two places, we can factorize this. And then in the other bracket, we are going to have k to the power of 4 plus 1. And this will be equal to 0. Now we apply 0 product rule. And that says it is either k squared minus 2 is equal to 0 or k to the power of 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. Right? Okay, so I want to deal with um, what we have here first. Okay, so we have k to the power of 4 plus 1 equals 0. Now this means k to the power of 4 is equal to, is equal to um, negative 1. And now whatever we do now, we are going to get you know, the fourth root of negative 1 and that will lead us to complex number so therefore this will not give us a real solution so this has to be rejected okay so this will be rejected because it is not going to give us positive um you know a real solution now the one that will give us a real solution is this we have um, k to the power of 2 minus 2 equals zero okay let me cut it this is going to give us a real solution because from here k squared will be equal to two right yes and this means that k is equal to negative or positive and we'll have square root of two so this is um the value of k but remember when we say that um okay let k be equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, in place of k, I'm going to write 2 to the power of x because it is x we have in the question. Okay, so from here now, I'm going to put 2 to the power of x equal to positive or negative square root of, um, of 2. Now, if we take a step from here, it means that we are having 2 to the power of x to be equal to um, positive or negative. Here we have 2 to the power of 1 over 2. Now, the first thing I want to do is to use the negative, right? I'm going to use the negative. Okay, let me use positive first. So we have 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 2. And from here now, we have the same base. Therefore, x is equal to 1 over 2. Now, this satisfies the given equation. x equals 1 over 2. But then, if I move over to the negative, it means that I'm going to have 2 to the power of x equal to negative 2 to the power of 1 over 2. And from here, we are not having the same base, right? And as a matter of fact, this will also be rejected. This will also be rejected because it will still lead us to complex number. So the only true solution is x equal to 1 over 2. Thank you for watching.